again and welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host Mike and with me I have Kage. Hi there. And I also have Hog. Hello. We got a decent show planned for you today. We got three stocks picked. So if you're uh, sitting here and you're uh, wondering uh, where's Stock Talk, Stock Talk is here for you now. Uh, the first stock we're going to talk about guys, uh, Barrel of Energy. Not a barrel of monkeys but Barrel of Energy. Last tick was 0 0.0180. Uh, going to the chart, uh, you can see the, the, the pump up the jam. Uh, this is on a promotion list, just to let uh, some of you out there know that you, this is being promoted currently. Uh, there was some hype about with this one at the beginning, because you had uh, all the hype about uh, you know possible stimuluses going into things, and uh, a lot of goodie bags given out, but it just didn't materialize because... Uh, we're too far into debt, as you guys know. Uh, going into uh, what would you say they do here, and they engage the production distribution of hemp and hemp-based cannabinoid wellness products, as well as they also are into EV uh, vehicles. So that's there's uh, conflicting uh, descriptions there with MarketWatch. So I'm sure it's one of those companies that they're uh, into a lot of things there. Let's just put it that way. Uh, going on to stock twits, Kage, because that's where the real traders are at. Uh, what do you have there on the twits? I'm seeing mixed results here for this stock. A lot of people are actually saying it's garbage, but some are <laughs> actually willing to uh, get into this, I guess, for some odd reason. Yeah, and, and like I said, this thing is, uh, it's, being, it's on a promotion list, it's being promoted. Uh, that's why we cover all the comments to get the sentiment. Now, we're going we're gonna to do a little interesting aspect, and Hog will bring it in here in a little bit. He's gonna, we're going to go back to the Investor's Hub as well, so you're going to get two different board's opinions, and I'm also going to go in, there's no fresh news unless Kagi and Hogg can bring it up, uh, if they find anything on the boards, because some people post links on the boards. Uh, but what do you got there on the twits to start off, and then I'll go to the website and read some descriptions and dive into some news. Alright, how about this take from Goat Money? He says, bullish. E-R-L-L. -L. I'd like to acquire some of this garbage, please. What a deal. And it's got a DIF of uh, brow shit that garbage can't say, I love it because it's trash. I love trash. Anything, to, yeah, anyways. Uh, what else you got? Uh, how about this one from uh, Pipe Daddy 24? He Pipe says, Daddy? Yeah. Is, he, is he smoking on there or what? I don't know. It's Smoke every a, day. Hmm? Um, as uh, BRLL bullish, I was able to purchase six CK shares today. Interesting. If you have a pub account, you can call in and do a limited order, though customer service. Do you do you guys do you guys think he, do you think do you think he's possibly throwing some bullshit out there just because if this is on a promotion list and he just grabs sixty, I can guarantee you that sixty is going out unless he's going to do the short. What do you guys think? Just you can throw out whatever take right now. I think he's uh, trying to up this thing so he can short it. That's what I'm thinking yeah. right there. So that that's where I was leaning to. But you never know. Some sometimes people can try to get on there and manipulate to try to get you to trick you to thinking that it's a it's a good buy. But because a lot of uh, new listeners or or new uh, uh, takers to the sometimes they'll get them on a promotion. They'll come in thinking it's hot. But I'm sure that's where he's going the direction of short. Uh, I have on here from the website it says the demand for lithium has just begun to grow. Barrel Energy has put together some exceptional lithium projects and global opportunities. Environmental policies trend to point towards directing future energy development that is characterized as being deficient, sustainable, and clean. These policy changes and battery technology innovations, such as higher charges, uh, sorry, uh, change density and reduction in weight, uh, can change time cost uh, participated in. Uh, the pivot of the auto industry to electric vehicles. Also, uh, th there is a pivot towards the electric vehicles, and the production of that is increasing year after year, guys. It is, there's a decent stat that we've seen. 
Uh, what else you got there on the twist? Uh, how about this take from uh, his null Uh He says, BRLL, I still hate this POS, but I'm not upset with the latest movement. I'll change my opinion when I'm a st- not, not still down 95%. <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking, guys, he got in at the beginning of the chart. That was when everybody had their pom-poms out. Yeah, we're going to get a stimulus passed, uh, the Green New Deal and everything, and then uh, they're pissed because Mansion and Cinema shut this thing down uh, because people don't want it. Everybody knows that that's just going to increase the inflation nation. By the way, in your G2, uh, in, your, in your G2 countries, uh, we're number 16 on the inflation list right now, guys, as far as uh, fa- one of the top increasing ones. So just something there, that's a true stat. You can go look that up in your pipe and smoke it. There, Cortez has got that on his uh, on his uh, on his chalk talk chart. You guys can look that up as well. Okay, so going on to investor sub there, Kage. I've got uh, Bruce Bill puts. Uh, they gave me the silent treatment last time before we ran to 88 cents. I paid off my truck with that one. Once they get to once they get current, they'll put out a blockbuster PR, and I'll get and all hell will break loose. That possibly could be. We don't know when that's going to be, but uh, you never know what could happen. Uh, what else do you got there on the twits there? Uh, I've got a take from uh, Love Retail Fourth, and he's got a picture of a uh, electric car. I think it's he says prototype Indian EV car from Trubeg. Brill has Roshan tech, so lots of potential. Just the beginning. Okay. What else do you got? Uh, how about this take from Install Install a Dream? And he says, BRLL, bearish. He says, 7,150 in volume if all buys. And he says, trash, S, and clowns, lies. And he's <laughs> got emojis of the crap clowns that just barf and just all matter of nastiness, I guess. Okay, Kagi, you also had a a plug for Microcap Daily. Uh, Looks like this was in October. The company report management discussion with St. George's Eco Mining Corp., a Canadian uh, public company engaged in development of new lithium extraction technologies regarding several uh, sites and lithium processing technology centers within the southwest U.S. barrels, considering location sites with an eye towards cost efficiency and process permitting, access to infrastructure, Sufficient power transport nearby source material demands all factors of the project. The company's lead development uh, suite is situated roughly a 30-acre property that is now zoned for industrial activities located in Nevada, just 18.5 miles from the Tesla uh, Gigafactory. BRLL is quickly getting noticed by investors trading $21 in volume on Friday alone. Uh, So this is one possibly where you can ride the waves uh, based on the news as far as with the direction that they're going. it's, it's just wondering why we're not seeing too much on the hemp. hemp there's so many things getting involved in it, so I th- I'm sure your guy that was going to add, he's adding for different purposes due to shorts and things like that. Uh, hopefully he gets out by Stilo Friday uh, for his sake, unless he's uh, unless he knows what he's doing. We'll see what happens, how that plays out, and that might play on the board. What else you got there from the twits? Okay, no. Kagi, you got an interesting take on the twits about this one, and then we'll go to uh, back on their website and go to the supply. Since we don't, we might as well go through and do the review of of talk about that, considering there's not a lot of news popping currently, from what I could see. What did you got there? What did you have for a take there from one of the one of the twits there? Uh, this so uh, this is a take from it's all a dream. He says bearish, B R L L. Wait, it's got a picture of a. With a bunch of crap in the back in the foreground. I, I could see that happen, and I mean, you know, you're going to get some guy cheerleading for the company on here that's going to get pissed at us. But hey, we read all the takes. We read the bears. We read the bulls. Uh, going on to the website, lithium projects and global opportunities. Uh, Barrel recognizes the current deficiencies as well as the massive potential for lithium-ion battery supply chain market, and the environmental forces propel the coming dominance of zero emission vehicles and companies like Tesla, GM, Ford, Apple and other major companies drive this vital technology. Barrel intends to immerse itself in the key materials and technologies that will un- uh, underpin the coming surge of EV dominance. Uh, they're also tapped into the Indian Indian automotive industry. India is a huge market, guys. Can't tell you how huge it is for everything. The World Economic Forum, uh, lots of us know about that, 
They've highlighted the Indian automotive industry is one of the fastest growing markets globally and the country has been made into electrification of the country's industry since 2030, made it a 2030 priority. Uh, to this end, Barrel has teamed up with Roshan Energy Technologies, PVT LTD, located in uh, Hyper... Uh, Hydersbad, India for the lithium battery develop and production in India and North America. Uh, what else do you have there on the Twitter? sir? Uh, how about this from, from Moneybag77, D-R-L-L. He says, they're bullish. Lol, come on guys, it's so obvious what you're doing here. Give us a hard date when you're done with SEC. We have a right to know so we can kick off the class action lawsuit. Thanks. Ooh, yeah, I I could see I could see some of that happening with uh, how going from the past charts there. If they have a solid there, uh, I could see that happening because there's going to be some people that are there. You, you could already see in this board there's some pissed off people there. So that's something. Keep your eyes peeled on that. We we've, we've seen that road before, haven't we, Kage? With these. All too often. That's why we're here. We're here to try to tell you to be careful. So this is. The, if you're new to the show, we're not. This isn't a pump up the jam video. Uh, Roshan boosts an impressive line of lithium battery products for EVs, medical equipment, solar street lighting, the telecom industry, as well as medium and large energy storage solutions. The EV market in India is expected to grow at 34% CAGR to 2025. However, initial growth for this section is likely to be with commercial vehicles rather than passenger uh, vehicle space. The Roshan lithium iron uh, phosphate batteries have an impressive built-in thermal stability and are perfect for the huge market for two-wheeled and three-wheeled EV vehicles. Uh, what else do you have there on the twits for what other interesting comments do you have? Uh, how about this one from Bodhi Trades? He says, BRLL, they're getting the September 30th, 2020K done to complete 2020 of year today for 2021 they're expending through all to report so it, it seems like they're behind okay uh, things, so yeah I, we're just gonna have to see how this plays out i would say for me i'm not even putting this one on my watch list i mean it's if it's showing up on the, the pump up the jam list i'm like we're talking this was emailed out to everybody for the pump up the jam list so uh for me it's just, I mean, the website looks pretty cool. They got cars speeding by on it and everything. Uh, the website looks happily decent. Uh, as far as news, uh, there's not too much news popping on it. Uh, but I, 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 I'd say, for me, it doesn't make my watch list at all just because I'm just not, it's just not something I like personally. Uh, not my field of, of, of that. What, what, uh, what do you got? What's your take on this? Uh, with this take, I think there's just so much negativity behind the positivity that mm -hmm. I think it overwhelms it. Yeah. So um, we'll, we'll just have to... I, oh, go ahead. I just don't think it would be uh, worth it to get in, so I'll give this a soft pass. So. You'll give it a solid pass? Okay. I, I would give it a pass. Okay. A soft pass, not a hard pass, but a soft pass. It was worth looking into. It was decent to look at it, and, you know, we could be wrong, but... Uh, We'll have to. I think uh, Hog was saying that we're gonna. He's gonna give a tracking thing on us on our picks and everything like that. So we might start seeing that soon when we have the the breakouts up there, and uh, you can see the other members of the show, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a tracker, and uh, you guys get to troll soon on who's right and who's wrong. So uh, we'll have to see how that plays out. We'll be back in two and two just for you. Okay, guys, the next stock we have is OCGN, OCGN. Last tick was $3.72. This is uh, currently popping because there's a lot of news. It's not a per it's, it's being promoted, but it's not being promoted. It's not showing up on a promotion list as of yet. If it did, I would tell you right away if I saw it. Now, you've seen some different highs, and the, you've some of these highs are from uh, the waves that it's ridden from news that breaks. These are one, This is one of the safer plays. We've previously talked about this stock probably like twice, Kage, uh, in the past just because uh, we've said this on this show. You can go back and look at the videos. Uh, we've called this several times over and over again, Kage, that these are some of the safer plays to get into because you can ride uh, the pipelines. It's just you have to find your buy point of where you're getting in. Uh, the, the stock currently stands at 372. Don't let the negative uh, 51 cents uh, scare you off. Uh, some of that is the shorters, 
uh, because they rode the wave of the news popping, uh, the big announcement in the news which we are going to go over. Uh, that's currently posted to the website. So this is 372 and change. You can see the consistency on this chart, uh, where it's at. Uh, it was above Kanye about 15 and change. Hey guys, so going into what would you say they do here? Uh, they're a biopharmaceutical company focused on discovering and commercializing gene therapies to cure blindness disease, as well as developing a vaccine for COVID-19. Their breakthrough and modified gene therapy platform has a potential to treat retinal diseases and one of many to the Nobel Biological Product uh, claims to offer better therapy for patients underserved diseases such as wet age macular degeneration, diabetic macular aderna, and diabetic retina therapy. Now, I've, I've been over their pipeline several times. I'm going to cover it like I covered before. But before we do that, uh, let's go on to uh, stock twits because that's where the real traders are at. Kagi, what do you got on the twit? What do you got from the twits there? Uh, how about this comment from uh, Cam Dog? He, so he was a bull in December of 2020, but he made coin if he held, depending on how many shares he had, he, he hit over the $15 mark in April of 2021. He was also just outside of October, November ish, he hit another, another uh, up again, another uh, past 15 bucks. So I don't, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm just confused where he's complaining at, but uh, also you had big news today that they were announcing uh, for the pricing of 53.5 million public common shares. Uh, I, I understand that it might be frustrating for the news, but these things take time. You're going to have to wait to ride the wave. They're not Rome wasn't built in a day. Maybe uh, things for, for during that time weren't, but it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come along, and you're going to be happy with that. I mean, one of the stocks I had, I wish I never got rid of, like I told you guys, Norovax. How long did that take? Huh, Kage? Yeah, it, it was a long time, and that you have to be patient. If you don't, then you're you're not gonna you're not gonna come out come out there. So, uh, with with what they said is, Ocugen Incorporated is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company. We already know that. Uh, talks about how they're working to cure blindness. Uh, their public art offering of approximately fifteen million nine hundred seventy three thousand four hundred twenty million shares of its common stock for gross proceeds, approximately fifty three point five million before deducting. The underwriting discounts and commissions estimated offering expenses payable to Ocugen. The offering is expected to close February 25th, 2022, subject to customary closing conditions. Uh, so you have that there. Uh, you also have, uh, they had the Ocugen host the, the conference call Friday, February 25th, 8.30, to discuss the fourth quarter and full year. So I'm thinking you're probably going to get some movement after that fourth quarter uh, conference there, wouldn't you think, there for 2021 financial results? I would think that possibly could be some kind of movement if it's good. I mean, if it's bad, then, yeah, it's going to suck. So uh, th there's some shorting potential on that. Uh, there's also uh, the potential, like I said, if depending on where your buy point is and where you're getting in or if you're already holding and you got this, uh, they're going to come through with their studies. Pipeline, the pipeline on this thing is sick with it, Kagi. What else do you got there from the twits? I'm just going to go over the pipeline here real quick. Uh, how about this one from G-Balls? He says, bullish, O-C-G-N. O-C-G-N owes BB $10 million within 30 days of Canada approval, or are we looking at new territory? Either way, we going to get paid. Mm-hmm. Uh, the COVID-19 vax, the the Covaxin, it's called. Uh, they're in they're in adult phase three, uh, Peds phase two of three. So, I know that there's some frustration that things haven't moved along, but as these things, as you be patient and ride along, don't do what I did with Norovax in short, and you, I made my chump change, and then I moved on, and then lo and behold, you had ninety something dollars a share there. Okay. And you, 
th th that's just one thing, okay? Now with some of these other ones you can ride, like they have this other one, the gene mutation associated retinal degeneration. They're working on that, so that's something in the future. They're not in any phases in this, uh, but the, what is it, the OCU400, uh, the RHO mutation, the CEP290 mutation, the PED68 mutation, uh, the gene mutation associated retinal degeneration. They're, in, they're enabling for that phase. They're in preclinicals for dry-related macular degeneration, uh, the diabetic macular degeneration, and the diabetic retina therapy. They're all in preclinicals and the wet age macular. If, if the vaccine one breaks going down to whatever the next phase they hit, if they go into phase four, you're going to ride the news into that, and then we'll see where that plays out. Because they're going to hit that phase somehow when they get, when they get into the next one. And so as those phases go out, it's just where are you going to, how long, what's your patience level and where, where you're, I mean, you just got to have patience. That's all I'm saying. There's too many things in the hopper to get frustrated and to give up on this. So that, that's all I'm saying is that I say this with all of them because we have a lot of people that panic sell and they bust out and then they reward uh, the big dogs that come in and gobble up your cheap shit. So you just got to, you got to, you got to be careful. Uh, and just anybody uh, needs to know there that they're located in, in uh, Malvern, Pennsylvania. So, what do you? What else do you got there from the twits from other sentiment of traders? Uh, how about this one from Bullish Man One? He actually has a bear comment. Mm -hmm. it says uh, OCGN. This is just a pump and dump, and everyone buying a company that misleads investors are just planning out fools. P F E M. RNA are companies that you may look at making money each quarter and a few more and the COVID-19 is almost over. Why in the world he, you he thinks it's over, now? huh? He thinks this is over? Uh, you, you got me. I mean, I guess the, he's uh, thinking that the hype is over or the... Uh, the hype is over till November 2021 and then the, the, the ratchet goes back on depending in which direction it goes. So, he he think I I think this is gonna keep on playing itself out. This isn't over yet. So I'd like to believe it's over, but it, it's not over. It'd be nice to wish that it was all over, but uh, some of that's hot. That's going in real hot. I don't know if he's trying to get attention to get people to talk to him or what. I mean, he'll probably come back on me, but he could be sincere. I don't know. So. It, I got on the Motley Fool here. Why is uh, Ocugen stock skyrocketing today? And it, just for a grain of salt, Motley Fool is one of the mockingbirds. So you have to take everything what they say with a grain of salt. They like to hook up their buddies there. Uh, Ocugen announced on Friday that the FDA has lifted the clinical hold of its investigational new drug application for Covaxin. This removes one big obstacle in standing in the way of Ocugen's plans for eventually marketing the COVID-19 vaccine to the U.S. Uh, it says... It says here that the, uh, let's go through here. The announcement came when the market closed Friday. Since the stock market was closed on Monday for President's Day, investors had to wait for the biotech to soar. The FDA's initial placed a clinical hold on Ocugen in November, and as a long result, Ocugen wasn't able to begin it planning its Phase 3 study for Covax in the U.S. Uh, Ocugen needs uh, the Phase 3 because uh, study to down its path for securing the emergency use authorization. Now, with this going forward, guys, I'm going to put a warning with you. This could all fail, and it could just go back to nothing. But if this goes into any direction of Norovax, some of you people that that are being bears and you're... You, the, it's possible here, Kage, we could have a setup here. Do you th Are you thinking that kind of? Because if you've seen some of these other companies where they're at before and where they're at now with, with that came out with the vaccine, uh, you know, what do you think? Uh, I think, uh, it's very possible that this is a setup, mm -hmm. but... The comment, I'm just saying the comment. It could very well be true, what he you, said. You're, say, you're saying the comment, following. you're saying the comment, the comment that he commented is a setup to get you to drop your cheap crap, you, you think? Yeah, I think this is kind of a setup to get people to drop their stuff. I think something. the con. I, I hate... Or, or, I, maybe, or maybe he's trying to look out for his fellow man. Yeah, it could be that too, or you think he's coming in, coming in hot. It's, it's, it's hard to say with this yeah. guy. And it's I, I know I'll get accused of being a show for Big Pharma, and you know I'm not. I'm just saying that you're at three and change right now. 
if this thing, if they, they, if this is all hypothetical, this is just speculation, but if this goes the road of Norovax, then there you have, that's, that's a possibility there. And it's also a possibility that this goes absolutely nowhere. So you have to take the chance of what you are deciding to do for your pocket. Uh, but for what I say, I'd say this is, a, this one to me is, is a, is a definite watch. It, it's a watch to see and it's going to be interesting. My prediction on this one is I think that people, if, if you're, if you're bearing it, I wouldn't be so bearish on it. So I would keep an open door to this one and this one looks like a significant play and depending on the success of what it has too, we don't know the success of, of some of the trials and everything like that. It could be one of the most successful ones. I don't know. So all I'm saying is that I, I wouldn't bear it off. So, and there's also other things in the pot. We can't, you can't just put all your eggs in one basket for the vaccine itself. There's other things that they're doing as well. Macular degeneration is huge. For, and especially with the diabetic study in that too, you have too many things in the hopper here to, to 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 discount to just blow it off. So I'm I'm not blowing it off. I say it's a highly watched one. Uh, I'm I'm definitely putting it on my watch list. So you missed out on two waves already. There was two fifteen dollar waves. So and if you shorted, uh, hopefully you got you you were were able to recover to get back to you know to buy more or buy less or you're out i don't know where you were at but uh it looks like a halfway decent play there uh and you saw the game 16 hours ago with everybody parroting uh that that and like i said that's one you definitely want to put on the watcher right there and i've been consistently right of what i said about this before uh kage what what do you, what do you got i think this is a good watch i think mm -hmm. um might be a little risky with the things coming down the pipe, but I think it's worth it to maybe even get in. Mm -hmm. uh, with all stocks, they are risky. There's nothing that's never in a risk in the stock market. It's a casino. Uh, but yeah, we'll just have to see how it plays out. And uh, I like the news yeah. that's coming out of it. And go back to my videos, guys. I've been consistently right about this stock the whole time. It's been popped up. This is like the third or fourth time I've covered it. And the main thing you want to do on biopharmas is always look at the pipeline and where they're at. And these guys are succeeding in that as far as with what they're doing. So that's something to take a look at. Uh, there's no more need to, we covered pretty much what, what's been popping in it and we covered the pipeline and we can just leave it at that. We don't need to go into the rah, 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 shish, bot about it. We're going to go to the next. Okay, guys, the next stock we have is J-O-B-Y, J-O-B-Y. Last tick was $5 and change. Uh, going on to the chart there, guys, I, sh I put that up to you there on Market Watch. Uh, this thing was was uh, pretty hyped up around the around tw August 2021 through the summer. It was doing good. We had a, a dive off, and then uh, we're getting to be around an uptick past five uh, up here, and so we're we're getting a little uh, going into what would you say they do here on there? Uh, Joby Aviation is a California headquartered transportation company developing and manufacturing an all electric vertical. Uh, takeoff and landing aircraft, which can uh, intend to operate commercial passenger aircraft beginning 2024. Uh, they spent the most. They spent more than a decade developing and testing zero emissions aircraft. They will travel 150 miles an hour, Kage, on a single charge, enabling the pilot of four passengers to leapfrog over the congestion below speeds at 200 miles an hour. So this will probably revolutionize the travel industry there, huh? Mm. Assuming, of course, that uh... it's not a flop. It's going to be interesting to see how it played out. Obviously, your cue card hype and everything like that, beginning of 2021, that's where you saw some of this come in. Uh, their long-term vision is to build a global passenger service that uh, saves a billion uh, billion people, sorry, saves a billion people per hour every day and helping protect the precious planet, as well as strategic partnerships with Toyota and Uber. <laughs> that's going to be huge right there. That's That's some of your hype right there. And a team of more than 800 engineers and experts working to bring a ride sharing to the skies. Uh, so that's going to be huge in itself. Uh, what do you got on stock twits? Because that's where the real traders are at. What do you have uh, from the twits there as far as investor sentiment there? Uh, how about this one from Gilgal Trade? She, he says, bullish. Joby, 
What a wild ride the market has become recently. No, oh, you told me. Uh, Joel be holding strong, though, as well it should be. Been through wild times before, hopefully learned something from past mistakes, and still learning, of course. But loading these shares like my life depends on it. Looks like on the 14th they had a plug. Uh, Japan's largest airline forces with leading EVTOL company to establish aerial ride-sharing service in Japan. So a taxi service uh, ride-sharing in Japan. A future journey through Osaka Station in uh, Kansai International Airport has reduced uh, to less than 15 minutes compared to once an hour by car. So they're reducing the transportation uh, just in Japan alone. Uh, they've announced they're forming a partnership that will see Japan's largest airline join with Joby to aerial ride-sharing services to Japan. Toyota Motor Corporation also joined the partnership with the intention of exploring opportunities such as ground-based transportation. Uh, and you can see the press release. There is uh, one of the one of the uh, vehicles that they're using uh, for the transport. Uh, Joby is uh, they just go into is a California-based uh, developing all-electric five-seat aircraft to take off and land vertically. The maximum range is 150 with a top speed of 200 miles an hour and a low noise profile. It allows to access built up areas. Uh, Joby's uh, pilot aircraft is designed to make convenient emission free air travel, so that's huge too. Clean out the skies. You don't have that freaking nasty floating there. Who likes that stuff? I don't. Uh, airport could take less than 15 minutes. Uh, it's saying uh, that they have. Uh, it, 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 they have, uh, they're establishing this revolutionary new form of transportation in Japan, including development of infrastructure, pilot training, flight operations, air traffic management, public acceptance, and regulatory requirements to operate. The integration with the ground transportation is also considered with Toyota supporting the effort. Uh, so as they, they already have one of the heavy hitters, Toyota, involved in it, so that's, that's just huge upon itself. What do you, what do you have uh, there from the Twits as well? Uh, how about this one from uh, Joby Investor? He says... Joby breaking. Institutional ownership once again increased for Joby. Massive 31.77% stake is held. Mm -hmm. Now institutional investors followed by 49.48% insiders. So in the, uh, in the third quarter, this was just 14.8%. Float is just 120 million shares. Mm -hmm. So let, let's just do a little speculating first. First, we're going to go to real real items on about the company within Japan, and then I'm going to throw a little speculation out for you. So the partners are, are, are ex existing members of the public-private conference for the future air mobility revolution, establishing the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Investment, and the Ministry of Land and Infrastructure, Transportation, Tourism, to accelerate the adoption of the aerial ride-sharing in this country for Japan. This takes off the next six months and, and is successful. Let's just say that it branches out to other countries, like the United States, other parts of the world, and starts to take off through one of their biggest areas, Southeast Asia. Is it too... I mean, this this thing... Then, then what do you do? I mean, you just got news after news break out. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out and how it brands out going forward. That if it takes off in Japan, it's going to explode through the world, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, that's one of the most densely uh, populated places. It's one of the hottest yeah, markets they, uh, right they, there. They are starting to live like the Jetsons already. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's just say the world's going to take notice. Oh, yeah, they'll take notice, and that's the thing, is that you could be sitting on uh, something that you least expected, that you're glad you uh, came onto the video and you're glad that uh, this uh, popped off and you and you saw this on the Twits. Uh, what else do you got there on the Twits? Uh, how about this one from... Hmm, there's a couple of uh, ones that uh, repeated again. This is from Kane C4064. He says, Joby, bullish. I'm disappointed with this week PM. I wanted more of a discount. Shorts, you disappoint me. <laughs> Paper hands, where are you? Sell so I can buy for cheap. Uh, it looks like the partnership with A and A Holdings. Uh, they co the the they commented on the partnership of the opportunity presented by the Japanese market. Jobin, uh, the, Bivart, the the co-founder and CEO of Joby, said the it, it exists. Joby exists so the people to save time will reduce in the carbon footprint. 
Japan offers a spectacular opportunity to do just that, with 92% of the population living in urban areas and Tokyo registering one of the 20 most congested cities in the world. So if that goes forward and he reduces that, they, Joby is a, an integral part in reducing the in, in, in uh, it, reducing that those congested areas as far as by bringing uh, helping with the transportation there. Imagine what it could do for some of your other cities, and then this this just takes off. So that that it's going to be interesting to see uh, how this progresses, especially when you have a heavy hitter like Toy when you got a heavy hitter like Toyota coming into the mix. Uh, they don't just come along to a company, and they're not Mr. Thank You Very Much when it comes to a company. They're a serious heavy hitter. They wouldn't be messing around unless they saw something they liked, and they're seeing something they like, apparently, because they're putting uh, dollar ruskies and time and effort into it. They don't just come along just to to have a, a cup of coffee with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They, uh, they certainly have uh, capital behind them. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, Toyota just doesn't roll up. They're having... Uh, a cup of sake or a cup of coffee and hanging out and just uh, they're they're here for they're there for serious business and there must be something good going on with Joby. Uh, it says they're humbled to be working with the uh, ANA, the, an airline that deserves to be awarded uh, Skytrax five star rating in nine years in a row. So you also have that right there uh, with them. That that's an, that's another big big step right there. They look forward to working closely with them and bringing aerial rideshare service to Real Japan. Guys, this breaks out from Japan and goes throughout the world, especially into Southeast Asia and Asia, Asia all, all throughout. Uh, it's going to be freaking huge. Uh, looks like uh, Joby has spent more than a decade developing technology behind its aircraft, completing more than a thousand test flights, and becoming the first and only Evitol company to sign a G1 stage G4 certification basis for their aircraft for Federal Aviation FAA. Uh, speaking with the opportunity introduction of aerial rideshare in Japan, Koji uh, Shibata, representative director executive for vice president ANA, said ANA has uh, 70 years experience delivering safe and reliable uh, flights to customers across the world. They're proud to bring that operational experience to the table. Uh, what do you have there else on the twits there as far as interesting info? Uh, just the idea that they've uh, done these uh, test flights and everything for for a whole bunch of different kind of tests and prototypes mm-hmm. is interesting. Uh, uh, I have Sauron says, uh, Joby, uh, look at Joby's other airworthiness certified prototype, and he's got a link to YouTube uh, mm-hmm. with a uh, picture of a, um, of a FAA certified uh, uh, UAV that looks kind of like a uh, helicopter that has like five propellers on it each wing so it's really it's really stable it looks like yeah and i i sure you're going to get some sour patches coming along and they're going to pull up this article from biz journals uh it says air taxi maker joby uh let's see i got an ad that popped up joby's stock takes a hit after reporting aircraft test accident uh it says of course of co- that so there was that you can go in and pay to read that one uh, unless we can pull it up on a new Atlas. So let's see what they do. Uh, it says, Joby announced an accident during the flight testing of the market leading to Evitol aircraft prototype. The flight tracking data appears to show the aircraft was being pushed at 270 miles per hour, uh, well beyond the advertised speed of top 200. So that'll be concerning to some investors, but I'm sure people are still going to get in uh, because they're going to uh, they're going to they're going to be like, oh, it's a, it's another opportunity. The dummies, the dumb people will get out, and then uh, we'll just gobble up the cheap stuff. So these things are going to happen, unfortunately, but because it's they're still in their in their modes there. But like I said, Toyota wouldn't just be come along if it was some kind of goofball company. This is serious. Uh, so we're just going to have to see how it plays out. And if it plays out successful, then uh, what a great market to debut it in the Southeast Asia company. I put it on a, a definite watch list for me to check out. What about you? I would definitely. Watch mm-hmm. because if uh, they can if they can uh, take us one step closer to flying cars and everything and uh, being able to uh, fly to work instead of drive to work, I'd be all for that. Yeah, and to cut down off of uh, high, highly uh, crappy pollution and everything, and that's and being able to breathe, I'll choose that over uh, congested uh, streets and everything like that. And no, this isn't. Uh, 
a green show or anything like that, it's uh, it's stock talk. So you know. Th we're we're being realistic. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, uh, we like clean air. Things. If you don't like clean air, and you, I mean, then you don't like it. And but this isn't like a green show or anything like that. But we lost Hog. We apologize for that. Tomorrow we get the Fab Four back on. Rudy will be back. So uh, I'm out. On I'm out. How about you? I'm out too. So good night, people. Yep. Don't make it a dog show. And good night now.